This video explains how to calculate the geometric mean in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called x. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing nine different numeric values. Now if we want to calculate the geometric mean of these data, then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code I'm using the log, the mean and the exp functions to calculate the geometric mean. And I'm applying these functions to our vector object x. So if you run line 5 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the geometric mean of our data is returned. So in this case, the geometric mean of our data is 4.209. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the basic installation of the R programming language to calculate the geometric mean. And as you have seen, we need three different functions for this task. And for that reason, I want to show you an alternative to base R, which is based on the psych package. And to use the psych package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the geometric.mean function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, our data object is called x. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that exactly the same output is returned as in the previous example. However, this time we have simply used one function instead of three functions. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.